we're switching gears a little bit with this video. This is a mixed media canvas that I made as a gift for a dear friend. I started with layering a few pieces of torn muslin. I love the edges of torn fabric. They are so fun to do. And I think they add a lot to the layering of my mixed media canvases. Even if most of it, because most of those pieces are, are going to be covered by the end, but you still get a little bit of of uh, the edges kind of creeping through. Now this is chipboard from Umwa Studio, these wings, and they are just gorgeous. When I paint them, I usually paint them white. Sometimes I'll leave them the, the natural brown that they come with, but usually I paint them white. But I always leave the edges unpainted. So the top is white, but then you get like a pop of contrast around the edges that I really love in all of my canvas pieces. You can even see it now just sitting on the table. It's, it's highlighted by the brown edges. I usually use India ink or paint to color my chipboard, but this time I decided to use some alcohol ink and just putting a few splashes here or there because of the vibrant colors that they that these particular ones have and I'm using the same colors to color my cheesecloth. I probably went a little overboard staining the cheesecloth but that's okay. Sometimes you got to make a mess. And to blend the colors together, I just used a little isopropyl alcohol on the, a few drops on the cheesecloth and it, the colors just started to bleed through the, through the cheesecloth. It's always a good idea to stamp a little bit on your backgrounds. My go-to is text. I love text stamps. And that's pretty much what I always use on my backgrounds or even foregrounds, whatever I'm working on, it's usually a text stamp. I use gel medium as my glue in all of my canvas pieces. It dries clear and it is very solid. It's a great glue to use. It's so funny looking at my fingers. They're so stained from all of the ink that I added to this cheesecloth. <laughs> now this looks like I'm adding more uh, glue, but it's actually gesso. I'm just kind of adding a little bit more white color to the to the top of the cheesecloth. When I do canvases, it's so fun to, to kind of break the boundaries of the canvas edges. I love doing canvases where there's a lot of negative space, but then there's things hanging off the edges and, and it's just, it's, it's fun to break those barriers. It's a, a finite environment. You know, it's, this is a four by 12, so it's four inches by 12 inches of ground to work with. But I love kind of going beyond that and seeing how I can push those boundaries. These paper flowers are just, they're so beautiful. They add such a, an awesome 3D element.
it can be tough when I'm layering like this because each layer I, I just fall in love with. I mean, all of the cheesecloth that I added, I fell in love with. The the wings, you know, I'm, I'm covering parts of the wings, but that's just kind of part of working in this medium is is doing all these layers and allowing them to kind of work together rather than trying to keep each one separate. These are little glass microbeads that I'm adding with some gel medium. Just kind of splashing them around, not really being too meticulous about where I'm putting them. Just yeah, this this canvas is a it's a beautiful mess. And using gesso to highlight the petals of the flowers to kind of give them a frosted look. I don't know if there's a canvas that I haven't done this on. It's one of my favorite techniques because it just it just adds such a beautiful final touch to those colorful flowers. I love these colors. I love the way they blend together. I love the negative space and working in kind of a longer canvas format. And working small sometimes is, can be a challenge too, but this, this canvas, I love when the inspiration just comes together and everything just works out beautifully. This has become one of my favorite projects. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Um, do you guys work in a similar style and a similar medium? Let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.